Good job, baby. This week we brought in Fang. He's been playing with Alltech for the past two weeks in practice. I can come, yeah. He's been doing really well in scrims, so I'm excited to see how he does, and he should mesh really well with our team. My play style is pretty aggressive. If I can get my hand off the low side, aggressive range is poor. He's very aggressive in game, and out of game, he's just a very funny and just lighthearted person. He's a psychology major from university, so he brings this really great atmosphere for the rest of the team. He's able to just kind of keep everybody calm and happy. He is more like our cheerleader, just telling us like, yeah, you can fight, you can fight, take this fight, take that fight. I think he's kind of like, in a sense, my role model. You know, he's just a very kind person. He feels good. Like, I, it, I feel pretty, like, excited, like, to play on stage again. So today we're playing against Optic, and uh, everybody's really confident. We've had a good week of scrims, and it should be a good game. The roster that we played against actually had three old Echo Fox players. We had Alorum, who was our previous Academy top laner, Acadian, who was a previous LCS jungler, and then we had Big, who was on Delta Fox back when Echo Fox first started. Going into the match, Alorum is coming fresh off of having played with us last split, and he would really know all the kind of picks that Huni wants to play. However, he didn't end up playing up against Huni. Before the match, he was like trying to talk like our revenge on him, but eventually I, I didn't play top, so it was kind of weird. Game three of the day, Optic Gaming versus Echo Fox. We had the plan of trying to do a super comp against them. Super jungling essentially is just you pick two characters that are good at clearing the jungle, have very good synergy together, and will win against a standard mid-jungle 2v2 if you were paired against it. However, they ended up doing one as well, and it kind of led to this weird scenario where we had never really seen a super versus super comp. We figured it would be not that bad of an idea to try it on stage. Uh, it was a pretty bad idea. We are on to the rift! Dardock takes a few for himself, when he gets in, he's gonna oh. go down! I played Vlad for the first time, and you know, when AD carries start playing Vlad, it's like, holy shit, it's pretty bad. Dardock's gonna be the first one in, he's got a good shield onto him. Forge got his back from Aloran! I kind of messed up a combo, where it should have been like, at least double or triple kill. That caused the enemy team to get Baron, so that was a pretty big letdown for myself, because I've never, you know, messed up the combo like that. We ended up forcing ourselves to pick these engagements to try and get ourselves ahead. And Echo Fox is dreaming for a fight victory here. And when we made that happen, we ended up falling farther behind. Optic has kept Fox is back against the rope. Echo Fox goes down and Optic take the victory. Looking back on that scenario, what we should have done is kind of taken our last pick, put a tank in there, and then just tried to shut down their super comp rather than matching them with another super comp. Yeah, not the most fun experience, but definitely necessary for us to improve. We played so bad today, and I just want back on track again. I just want a W because that was my first game, and uh, it wasn't a W, so I will try my best tomorrow. Who cares? I mean, we tried this shit. We haven't played super against super, so I mean, this is good to at least see, so we can be aware of it. When we go into some of these matches, there's still some trial and error of trying to figure out what's actually the best and what do we need to do to try and get the edge on other people. And one of the biggest strengths we have is that our players can flex. You know, I can play top support. You know, I can play whatever role that's needed, and so can everyone else on the team. We want teams to be afraid of the fact that our players can actually play anywhere possible. And we put a lot of practice in trying to figure out what we think is best on this patch and which approach is best for us. So there's a lot of different pick band discussion around what we think might be best, what the other team's going to do, and how to beat that. We sit in the room and we'll go back and forth for probably like 25 to 30 minutes before every LCS match, thinking through our our draft in every single way that a team could beat us. For this one game I'm playing on stage, I know all 57 scenarios that could possibly happen. Hello and welcome back for our final game of the day, Echo Fox versus Golden Guardian. Johnny fat fingered his Zonias when he tried to flash combo on Vlad on Saturday and I'm sure there was a layer of wanting to redeem himself. Johnny played with Vladimir today and he, he basically popped off and just almost carried the game on his own. He was so fed that the team was able to play around him. He got uh, first hurt for us in bottom 
and then managed to take over the game after that. Coming around from the side. Wants to use the Spellbinder. There's your speed. There's your damage. He will play out. Contract down. Blimey is were like really, really strong when you go like a late game. So Johnny really popped off. Alltech flying in, getting so much damage done there. It's a triple kill for Alltech. It was really impressive, and I'm glad he could uh, turn it around for that. Echo Fox punches in the brakes on the Golden Guardians hype train. They bring themselves up to three and one. They'll find the Nexus turret, and they'll win 34 minutes in. I played, you know, Vladimir, and I was able to play really well, and we ended up winning. And I, you know, I proved that I can play Vlad better than anyone else can. I think Fang played overall pretty well for the most part. I mean, he definitely had some shaky stuff, but him and Johnny together both enabled us to actually win through bottom lane this game. Good job, baby. I mean, we're learning a lot. We definitely learned that we should focus on like maybe one or two strategies going into the weekend rather than spreading ourselves so thin. We had too many ideas that we wanted to go at rather than just focusing on one thing. We're going to week three. Our enemy is Team Liquid and the Cloud9. This week we play against the reigning champs. Kind of the first test of the split, I guess, for us. For me personally, I feel pretty confident going to this way. I expect like 2-0. People think like they are very good, right? And they're like they like best part. If we beat them, people might think we are the best part. I just wanna prove myself. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe Echo Fox on social media and stay tuned for more League of Legends action.